Welcome everyone to another episode of Massey's Tiny Motors. Today, we're gonna be unboxing a Tesla. It's very exciting. It is not my wheel, it is my girlfriend's wheel, and uh, it's awesome. So without further ado, I would like to introduce the proud new owner. All right, let's Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rosie, it's her Tesla. It Tesla is, uh, it's, it's hers, it's hers. Bring it on over here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks for coming to this unboxing. That's it, folks. That's all you get. Ready? Bring it more in the middle. Oh. Well, that went great. You're not a very good unboxer. All right. New box for the cat. It's very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little worried. It's already been opened. Yeah, uh, E-Wheels opens it, they check everything. Make oh, sure it, they yeah. don't repackage it. Okay, yeah. I got you. That makes sense. Okay. Thank you, eWheels.com. Thank you, eWheels. Please sponsor. Please sponsor. <laughs> too big but that's okay i really like the wrist guards i can wear it with my watch it's good Let's get those stand minutes got our annual yes do you want to unbox i get to unbox yes got our this is a two and a half amp charger oh nice it'll charge a lot faster than my king song Ooh, it's so pretty. That's what it's called. What's that called? What the noise is? ASMR. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> well, luckily you can edit all of it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is, people. Move the box. Move the box. Move the box. Move the box. Oh, put it on the table. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's so pretty. Wow, it's so pretty. Grab the bag. It's very heavy. Wow. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> it's freaking enormous. It's got this weird thing here, which I'm not a huge fan of, uh, but some like really stellar grip tape and nice magnetic. So pretty and like revealing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, cat does uh, not like that sound. Wow. It is so shiny. It's pretty nice of them to send wrist guards with it. Yeah, that's pretty super cool. awesome. We're going to charge this up and then we'll uh, take it out on a ride. Here we go. All right, so the Gotway Tesla V2. Really, really exciting wheel. This is a mid-range wheel for anybody who's interested, uh, except one of the things is that you get a lot of the higher and performance from some of the $2,000 unicycles and something that retails for around $1,350. Uh, so let's go on a little bit of a tour and then we'll get out and ride it and I'll talk about how it rides. One of the things I really, really like about this wheel in particular is the narrow tire. Uh, I've been riding the three inch tire on the King Song and a three inch tire on the M10 three and having a tire that's 2.1 inches instead of uh, three inches thick is is really really different and generally it wants to be more chill it tends to lean a lot more whereas on my king song 16x it fights you to turn this just really wants to turn and it will keep turning and leaning until you tell it to stop so really really different riding experience there really really exciting uh, the other thing i really like about the Tesla is that you get this middle mounted trolley handle. 
I do have an M Super Pro coming to the channel soon, and I'll talk about how that trolley handle makes me feel. <laughs> but this one, being in the middle, is a lot like my King Song. It makes it really, really convenient. Plus, I like the height of it. It's 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 really nice. Some complaints. So these pads right here, I don't know if you can see these pads. I mean, they're squishy, but they could be squishier. I think for anyone wanting to mod it, you could probably get some like neoprene foam and, and cut out like a section and make these a little bit more comfortable. But other than that, riding the wheel, because E-Wheels puts on these really large Nikola pedals, it has a ton of grip, really comfortable. These pedals are as close to ideal as I think you could get. Uh, we have a lift sensor as well, right here in the, uh, in the handle. So that makes it really nice for picking up. And I like how the lift sensor is not attached to the trolley handle like it is on my King Song. We got a few interesting design choices on here. As you can see, we have this plastic that looks like carbon fiber. I think this is a gorgeous wheel. This is a really, really pretty wheel in person. And all the LEDs that uh, turn on and circulate when you're riding, that's really cool. Unfortunately, we don't have any brake lights on it, but that's okay. One of the interesting design choices is this red ring around the speaker. It does have this super cool on this side. It's got like a lit up Tesla T2 Terminator uh, thingamajig going on there. So we're gonna paint that black because it's annoying. And then of course, everything else that's pretty standard on Gotway wheels, charging port, USB, light, pretty decent stuff. We did find out that clicking the power button uh, many, many times kind of circulates through different light patterns on the wheel. So overall, I think we're really excited about this. We're really excited to see uh, like a range test and see how far it goes. Uh, I'm thinking that it'll probably keep up with the King Song, even though this is 1,020 watt hours and my King Song has 1,500. I think that just given the weight of the wheel, it's 10 pounds lighter. It has a thinner tire and I, I think it could go pretty far. So we're going to find out together. Let's take it out. Let's talk about the riding dynamics and how it makes us feel. So let's get going. All right, so riding the Gotway Tesla, this wheel is so relaxing. It is so incredibly chill. Um, I mean, really, that thin tire means it does not want to follow any cracks or uh, any slope in the road. Uh, so it really wants to be true and correct and go the way you want to go. It also feels like it has quite a lot of power. Uh, it feels like it has lots and lots to give and, and brake, braking feels very good as well. Uh, so I, I'm super, super impressed with what 1350 will get you out of a unicycle. All right. Well, as always, thank you so much for coming by and checking out the channel. Uh, really hope you're doing well, and I hope to see you in the next one.